Good looking, boss. Man. Nice to meet you, man. What's good with you? What's up? How you doing? Good, y'all. What's good? What's good? Good, man. I thought you was going to hit me when you got here. Yeah. I did. Oh, you did? We were talking this shit. I bring gifts. There you go. Oh, my shit. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. What year is that? It's champagne. Oh, okay. It's champagne. Yo, thank you, son. I got scared. Yo, you got some real shit. I got scared. We, we got we got cups. Yo, Spike, get some cups, son. Oh, yeah. This is the Don P, son. I got scared. You know what I thought that was. He thought this shit was 1942. <laughs> I thought it was that 1942. I don't fuck with that no more. Yo, Rod, this nigga had 42 in it. <laughs> Yo, Rod, that nigga had 42 one night? I was fucked up. He well, was fucked up, the too. The thing was, we started drinking at 3. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It was bad. Bro, bro. Yeah, it was bad. 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 That, that shit was different, man. That was bad. That shit was different, man. Yo, thank you. Yeah. Let me see. Let me check. Let me drip check, man. Oh, we got it. Oh, shit. That's right. my guy. He be talking hey, crazy. Hey, get this shit. All right, yeah. You know what comes next. <laughs> drip on drip. Here we go. All right. I came out swinging today. I came out swinging today. All right. All right. All right. Y'all know I am, but you clean. You clean, though. You clean, though. You know what? You know what? See, Willie's ain't gonna give you all the time, yo, man. Yo, I heard he was coming out of here. Yeah. <laughs> a little something, something. Look, 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 gotta get going. Look, look. <laughs> we gotta do a video on that before we leave. That's what's up. Oh, shit. Yeah. 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 This shit gonna be dope, man. This shit yeah. gonna be dope. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. Yo, I get drunk. He get drunk, yeah, starts telling the chatterbox. Start talking everything. Start. Well, oh, alright, alright, I didn't even know that. What's up, y'all? I should just find him. Dude came out from the back. Like, yeah, this one lights up. Welcome to Welly's World Podcast, man. I'm your host, Welly Jackson. Mm hmm. Uh, oh, oh, man. Mm -hmm. no, go ahead. No, no, I'm gonna let you finish. Go ahead, go ahead. He's on one tonight. I'm on one. Always. <laughs> Shades on inside. Yes. Uh, yes. The drip has been certified. You're clear. Certified. I'm clear. Yeah. I, I, I got, passed. I, I got passed. my man Alex Quo in the building. What up, bye? What's good with y'all? Hello, hello, hello. All right. In the building, in the building. Good to see everybody tonight. That's what's up. I guess, <laughs> man. <laughs> with the shades on, I'm seeing everybody. It's good to see y'all. Special see guests in the building, man. Very special. Special guests. Real conversation we had to have on the podcast long mm -hmm. overdue. You understand? This is my, this is my, like, you know how people be like, yo, it's my day one. This is really my day one. Right, We right. from the same project. This is my man. Listen, Hustle House Millionaires own Mr. Ramel Santiago in the building. What up, Rob? What's good, what's good, what's good? What's good with you, man? Yeah. Oh, what's going on? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. We got them all. Always, 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 always. <laughs> I love it. Let me paint the picture, man. They call him Runway because he stayed fly. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. That, that ass? I like that. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Word? That's Okay. Who gave me that name? Yeah, but who gotta give me that name? Who gave me that name? You can't. Your, your nickname is not. It's not valid if you give yourself your nickname. Yeah, you can't call yourself nothing. Yeah, nah, yeah, you can't come up with nothing. Like you can't be killer, and you just named yourself that. Right, you can't be killer because you play Call of Duty. No, <laughs> that's earned. What, what the hook give you? Welly. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. I'm, I'm honest, man. It's I short for my that. real name. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that's it. I just used you had to shorten that up. Yeah, <laughs> you had to shorten that I didn't that even. Up. You know what it was? I didn't like the way white people said my name, and I was like, "Wow, that sounds different." And then, like my family, they used to call me Wellerton. I said, "My mother ain't put no A in my name," mm -hmm. and maybe. And then that, now we got to have a discussion about my name. I always wanted to be something short, like like Jason, Robert. So when chicks call you from far, they be like, Jay, Al, Rob, how you doing? This is what she was saying? That's what I always wanted as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so oh, yeah. Just shorten it up. That's it. They, but, you know, my name my name is Wellington. <laughs> like, <laughs> I live in the hood. Cops going to catch me so easy. Like, who did it? Oh, he live right here. His mother's penny. 
That's the cops do. <laughs> but nah, we got my man Rowan in here. Listen. He's a building, man. Ra is real, is real into Forex. And for everybody who don't know Forex, we going, I don't know the shit either. We dumping it. I want to learn all about this. We going to get to the bottom of this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the shit's working out well for him. I was just telling him, Dior hit me today. They said, listen, when y'all doing the podcast? Because we, we got to restock. Yeah, he fuck with Dior. Oh, <laughs> heavy, he, heavy, he, he, heavy, he, 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 heavy, heavy, heavy. Heavy. Little something. Little something. We got to adjust the lights, man. My man Rod's in here. Dollar. Bracelet bust down. Mm -hmm. Rolly on. I could do that. I can. I can. I can, I can talk heavy. You already did. Yeah. You, you can't start to talk heavy. <laughs> 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 hey, he got about on. sixty thousand on the wrist, and, 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 and I ain't count his pockets. Hey, we didn't get like to this. his chain yet. That's right. Because <laughs> he got two of them on. Fly out the shades. Fly out the shades. The BBSs, man. But now, first things first. Forex is working out great for you. Absolutely. I tried to, like you know, we talk outside of this. And I was like, yo, I'm going to do my research on it. I'm going to jump in. I tried. I don't get it. For the people list, because I know I can't be the only one. Yeah. What is Forex? All right, so Forex is short for foreign exchange market. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, so basically Forex is, it is trading currency. Trading currency between countries. Right. You know? So a lot of people ask, like, is it, is it, uh, sorry. It's all good. Good. If, if the money's calling, we'll yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you stupid. Yeah, you stupid. See how quick? See how quick he moves? Motherfucker just made a trade. <laughs> just see how quick he moves? Yeah, that's definitely an <laughs> alert, though. <laughs> Yo, hold up. Stay focused. Yeah. Ten seconds later, you already make more money. Rod just pulled out three phones out of his fucking pocket, bro. Oh, damn. Oh, you don't even know which one it was. Go ahead, man. Yeah, so a lot of people, you know, they ask. You know, is it like the stock market? And it's not really a uh, foreign exchange market. Is the largest market in the world. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that. You know, um, a lot of people think that it's new. Like it's something that just happened. So like, cause you know, social media, everybody's talking about right. it now. But actually, Forex been around forever. Wow. Mm -hmm. Forever. Um, the way that we trade now, as we know it, uh, it started in 1971. President Nixon, uh, he signed it into where Year before 1971, you know, money in between countries or whatever, it was, it was backed by gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, right, so, right. And gold, the value of gold was in U.S. dollars, so that's why the demand for the U.S. dollar was so high back then. But there wasn't enough gold. There's not enough gold. Yeah, it's simply enough because gold. you got it all. <laughs> he got gold bars on his hands. Did you notice that? He, he, got, he got, got gold bars on his hands. Like money <laughs> <running around. laughs> A lot of money behind the scenes. What's his name? <laughs> Say it again. Juni Evans. Shout out to him, man. Shout out to him. Yo, yeah. I wear hats too, bro. Juni Evans. Yeah, Juni yeah, Evans. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to him, bro. What's up? Wow. Yeah. I need one to go by. That shit. That's a movement. Nah. <laughs> I love when he talking shit. Because yeah, he's smooth with it. That's how I know. It's a lot of people doing a lot of things out of Staten Island. I mean, yes, it is. They don't, really, they don't really talk about us like that. They like we the good mm -hmm. guy in Burr, but we've been holding them down a long time. You know? You're right. You're absolutely right. Up, a lot of, in every industry. Exactly. A lot of people just know when you talk Staten Island. They just know Wu-Tang. Uh, I mean... That, like it's a thing, but it's way more people getting money yeah, doing yeah, it. Successful. Yeah, yeah. Every in every industry, we pretty much got somebody or have somebody that paved the way. Mm -hmm. Right, right. You know I mean, before Wu Tang, it was for some D's. Yeah, yeah, those my cousins. Was way son. back in the you yeah, said everybody was some D's way back in the way. They they was they was big with the music thing. Yeah, yeah he he Wu has no clue. He's twenty. Yeah, that just went right over my head. They sing like, yeah. singing group. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So they from they from the harbor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. And they mo, mo, mo still running around somewhere in the harbor. What up, mo? What up, man? Yeah, 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 <laughs> Talk yeah. to me. Well, so yeah, so basically that's what. So nineteen seventy one. There wasn't enough gold, so in 1971, President Nixon signed. He's, you know, he he got rid of uh, the Brentwood. It was called the Brentwood. Um, he got rid of that, and that is what made currency uh, free flowing, mm -hmm. basically. Right. So basically, supply and demand of that of a specific country's currency mm -hmm. that's what fluctuates. So what, what makes it go up and down? So what you're saying is, I could trade Japanese yen versus. Uh, any the British euro, Canadian yes. money, absolutely. That's that. that that's, that's forex. Wow. That's oh, forex. Right. wow. So I'm yeah. thinking it's some whole wow. other. 
It's, it's really simple. It's really it, just it the seems money. like a lot of people think that it's, it's complicated. It's really not. You really you're just trick. What you're doing is uh, you're saying that in X amount of time, mm-hmm. a minute, two minutes, a week. I think that this country's currency is either gonna be stronger or weaker than this current this current country's currency. Oh, oh, that's the it. Wiki page didn't say and you can get paid whether you think that it's gonna be stronger or you think it's gonna be weaker. Oh, ah, he just fucked my head up, bro. It's really that simple. You need to edit that wiki page. The way they made it sound is like some crazy yeah. shit. Man. You was on Wikipedia oh, trying yeah. to figure out what Forex is. I go on Wikipedia, baby. Yo, I, I, I went on. I went on YouTube. And yeah, YouTube is YouTube. You can't but even. It's wild. You can't even see nothing on YouTube because YouTube every other video is don't do Forex. Forex is a scam. So let's get to the bottom of it. Is Forex a scam? The first off, I just want to let you know. KristenDior.com said, nah, this just checks clear every time I come in. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. I, I, I count say otherwise. Yeah. I can't say otherwise, you know what I mean? And I'm not, I'm a small fish. I just got into, you know, this this industry. You know, mm-hmm. one, you know one of my our mentors, one of my mentors, he's my age. He's from right. where we from, uh-huh. you know, by way of Africa. But he came when he was, you know, really young. And he's a multimillionaire. You know what I mean? He come from where I come from. He play, We play basketball together at IS-51. Right, right. Now, you know, if, Mr. David Emanikia. Yeah, if you <clears throat> if you from Staten Island or even been through Staten Island and you say you play ball and you never played at 51, you played basketball. You didn't play ball. Mm-hmm. There's two different things going on. <laughs> it's two different, two different, two different, different activities. <laughs> yeah, that's completely different. It's completely different. Yeah, it's different. It's different now. Kids is different, man. But, um... I'm glad you said that, that he's somebody you know, because a lot of times people see, uh, like, you know, people on Instagram or whatever, yeah, and they don't think they could do it, because they're like, I don't know nobody like him. This guy wears suits on Sundays and yeah, Saturdays. Yeah, That's yeah. his leisure. Well, he, worked, he worked to that. Right, 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 right. He started out there. You don't just you know start doing it. We, we, we came up together, and he's a multimillionaire. He's the number one earner in the world wow. when it comes to this. Wow. You know what I mean? He, you know what I mean? He's... Chairman 750, you know, with, if you familiar with I Am Master Academy, Chairman 750, you know, he makes 750000 a month. Wow, 770000 Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. See, that's cool. I'm yeah, glad yeah. you said that. Wait, because <laughs> <let's, let's, laughs> Wait a minute. That's this a, motherfucker right this. here. I need two G's right yeah. now. <laughs> I need two G's. I he did his tax, right? I did. He said, he, that's it, I'm getting me a condo. Yeah, I, I got two G's. I'm like, bro, a condo. whoa. Yeah, two G's. Oh, yeah, I, I, I had saying. this all he said, wait, <laughs> it was out the crib. No, I, I had this all planned. I was going to get two G's from the government, but now the government want money from me. Yeah. Right? So, so well, two G's don't get you no condo two, in the uh, United States of America, bro. I mean, Haiti, <laughs> millionaire. Yeah, niggas at Haiti. Uh, I mean, here, Mexico. Mexico, Mexico yeah. you lit. Mexico is not as poor as Canada. Mexico, you lit. Yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah. But wait, 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 wait. I gotta ask though. So then, why does it have this bad rep? Because off the jump, I'm bad. Ju- no, no, I'm just bad. saying off the rip. It sounds really good. Just, because because I think the bad rep comes from how it's presented. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, so like people get into it. So Forex in general, all of this is is you can do your own research. So my, right. my my suggestion is to do your own due diligence when you get into any industry and you want to do anything. That's you true. Do your own research. You have to. That's true. So Forex in itself is just basically trading. You get with a broker, you know, you fund an account and you make trades. Now there's a whole bunch of companies and people that know how to trade and then they offer their own services to where they say oh, I'll teach you how to do forex mm-hmm. um, and they might be on some shiesty some shi- can I curse? you could say whatever right, you want shi- they might I'm drunk some- right now I'm good <laughs> yo shiesty so, what's shiesty off the Don Perignon <laughs> runway brought it go ahead yeah, on, on some shi- on some shiesty shit where they just trying to get over they just trying to get money from people or whatever the case may be or and then again in this industry it's it's it's, it's, it's a lot of positive vibes it's a lot of pumping out, you know, positivity, you know, it's, it's a lot of people that are not working from this. There's a mm-hmm. lot of people that quit their jobs. There's a lot of people that drop out of college because they're making money from doing this. Yeah. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. then, then there's companies that offer um, compensation for bringing people to the company. And a lot of people make a lot of money off that by itself. Oh. So their approach isn't, I know how to trade. I'm good at, I'm good at talking to people. I'm good at recruiting. Right. So when people have questions like, right, well, right. What I want to learn how to trade, and not and they don't really have a lot of people don't have those answers because they never took the time to learn how to trade. So anybody that I bring into my company or my organization, I try to I try to 
make it a point to make sure that they learn how to trade before they talk to anybody. Because once you learn how to trade and you post it, you know, we live in the social media era, you post something, right. people are going to be interested. They're going to ask you, is it, well, is it real? Is it whatever? I'm, well, I'm showing you that it's real. I'm making money from it. I'm showing you in real time. Was you quick to jump into this or was it something? Uh, no, I wasn't. Actually, another dude that... Can I cut you off real quick? Stay focused. We didn't shout out. The nigga got the ring on too. You speak it? Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you had that on the whole time? Yeah, the whole time. Yeah, oh! You know, you know the vibes. Bro, I'm up Can I touch that or no? Am I touching it? I just want to see it. Sign up before, no, 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 don't do that. Don't Get do your that, own fucking ring. Holy <laughs> crap. Holy shit. Yo! <laughs> hey! Yo, 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 yo. yo! If the government knew I was touching this right now, <laughs> they'd be mad at me. Oh, oh, oh. oh let me get that back to you. Let me get that back to you. Josh was just... Whoa. The engineer Josh was just saying <laughs> he's so young, he he's still just learning but, shit. But I ain't never seen no shit like that. Come on, that's what we say. Now everybody in this room seen that but me. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Word. Right. Oh, oh, everybody. Oh, everybody got this. Oh, everybody got this. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Shades All right. Shades yeah. Shades yeah. Shades yeah. Shades but yeah, everybody seen it. Okay. Just I, I just like to push in perspective. He getting real money. Is... But nah. But uh, how quick did it take for you to get into something? Oh, um, actually. So. Uh, for another friend of mine who actually introduced me to the business, mm -hmm. um, uh, Tyree, my man Tyree DeCosta, he, uh, I grew up with him as well, and he was doing his thing, and about two years ago, I flew out to Houston, they had a conference, and I'm seeing, and it, it, it I was intrigued, I'm like, damn, I see all these young people, mm -hmm. 19, 20, making $10,000 a month, 20, that, that's, that's residual from, from, you know, growing their company, Inviting people to their company and just trading, to, just, just foreign not exchange. even having to do with trading. That's oh, just word? that's just recruiting. Wow, and bringing people on to the bit into your business. Wow, you know what I mean. So outside of that, outside of making that money from trading, from that you, you're also making money from trading. Where we have you know go live sessions where the person that is basically if you you don't have to even really know how to trade yet, right? right? Wow. You're, you're getting real lot. You're getting real time training from master traders and trainers where they're telling you they're taking trades with their real money in real time for twenty five thousand dollars. You might be taking a twenty dollar trade, a fifty dollar trade, just starting out, and this person is taking fifty thousand dollar trades, and he's it's like Simon says. He's saying, "All right, I'm gonna take this trade at this price. Right. Get in with me if you want. You cannot get in with me if you don't want." And you make money as you learn. So you literally got people walking you through this as you you. So once you sign up for forex, right? Let's say me and Quo sign up today, right? All right. We get somebody like you who knows what they're doing to walk us through this. Absolutely. Well, it's already the the system is already in play. Uh huh. You know. So what the company what the company that I work with, I am Mastery Academy. What we do is we introduce people to the system. So I'm not personally training you. There's professionals that do that. Okay. I'm bring or introducing you to the company. I want the same tutelage you are. Yeah. I'm clearly it was good tutelage. Yeah, it was good tutelage. The same, the same narrative that I, the, the same path that I follow is uh -huh. what I do. Everybody that comes into my into my organization. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I, I introduce them to the system. You know, I get them started. Get them. Uh, plugged into the system where they're learning. It's a, a series of uh, videos that you learn all of, you know, the, uh, you know, what an uptrend is, what a downtrend is, what's consolidation, right. all of the verbiage, yeah. all of those things, you know, what's a currency pair, you know, all of these things. You learn all of these things, and then on top of that, they, we have is they have over 100 plus master trainers and traders every day that you can literally text, hit up, Go, you know I mean? So there's no reason to fail. There's no reason. This. There's no reason. There's a whole schedule Monday, Sunday to Sunday. Oh wow! Of different times that professionals, you know, master traders get on and they trade, and they basically, like I said, it's like Simon says, if you can follow directions, as you, long can, you, stay you can make money. Well, now, fuck, I'm sold, man. Fuck that. Yeah, it's out the inside. Yo, you wait. Don't get me wrong. He off that dude say back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so look, don't get me wrong. You can learn on your own uh -huh. for free. You can go on YouTube. You can research and you can learn. How, but if you if you have a job, mm -hmm. if you mm -hmm. have kids and you don't really have time and you really just want something laid out for you where it's a step by step process to learning, what I do is perfect. There's no way it's as easy as it's it sounds. Yeah, like. it's it's perfect for you. It's so you get because. There's so much help 
Mm -hmm. You have so much hands on, you know, people that's been doing this and they're proven to have, to be successful at it. Like thousands, literally thousands of people that are making good money. Right. Great money. Right. You know, I mean, what uh, one of our one of our global leaders, uh, Bryce Thompson, he's another chairman, seven fifty. He's twenty four years old. He makes seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. At twenty four? At twenty four years old. And then he put his whole team on. That's how you his whole team is getting money. Fifty chairman fifties, chairman one hundred, chairman ten. You know what I'm saying? Like he put his whole team on. Seven fifty. What you to say? Seven fifty. You yeah. driving whatever you, know? you want. You know? But <laughs> the, mis the misconception is, you hear these numbers and you see these success success stories, mm -hmm. and it's like I said, sometimes the med how it gets, you know, mm -hmm. it's it's a high energy situation. So someone new that might be exciting to them. So mm -hmm. they, their delivery might make it seem like a scam, or people think that it happens overnight and it's a get rich quick scheme, and it's right. not. Uh -huh. Those they, people that are successful, they put time in. Yeah, you gotta mm -hmm. put the work they in. Put, they like, put work in. You know what I mean? Like I've, uh, I've tell my, I'm 38. I've tried every shortcut there is in the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> every one. You gotta feel you know, on there's that. No, there's no <laughs> shortcut. None. There's no shortcut to success, but actually putting the work in. You I know see what that. I mean? And then and just, you know, the things that you want to do and the places that you want to go. You gotta really surround yourself with them type of people and that type of information. Mm, That's you know absolutely I mean? true. That's absolutely true. Well, essentially, what he's saying is, if you want to be broke, go ahead and hang out with four bums, and you will be that. Some but if you cool want, if that. you want to get some yeah. paper and you want to yeah. fuck with Hustle House millionaires, his number is nine one seven. That's yeah. what it is. Not even broke. If you just want to be mediocre, you want to go to, you know, have a group of friends where y'all just. Work Go on vacation day. once a year. Together. Yeah, work on yeah, work yeah, every right, day right. or whatever. But if you want you want to be an entrepreneur, you want to, you know what I mean? Like, so when I give presentations, I usually ask people like, so how much money a month would you would, would make you happy? Me? Don't put a price oh, on it. Oh, bro, I got the same taste as you. So. Yeah, no, but I'm saying. So, so, how much that cost right there? So, you know so, so specifically, I ask that question before I get into you know the information. I'll say like, yo, so how much a month you think is. Yeah. Good for you. Mm -hmm. And then people are like, ten thousand a month. That's good. I'll be good. I'll be straight. Uh -huh. I'd be like, alright, so what kind of car what's car, what kind of car you want? Yeah, but ten grand a month, what you what type of car you want? Yeah. yeah. Even even fifteen grand a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like a great number, but that's then the you same say, shit I did with this so look, group. Yeah, so then you say, Well what kind of car you want? Mm -hmm. And people throw these crazy cars I want a mm -hmm. Lambo, I want a Maybach, I want race. this, I want that. that. Alright, cool. What kind of crib you want? How many acres? How much land? Mm -hmm. How many floors? You want a pool? Oh, need the pool. You need got to. You yeah. can't afford a made back in a pool with fifteen thousand dollars. No, no, no. That's the most in the real there. world. <laughs> in the real, you can't do that. That's something that happened. On Instagram, they can though. Yeah, now you can't happen. You yeah. gotta really, you gotta put in work, and you gotta find ways to make multiple, multiple streams have multiple streams of income. That's mm -hmm. what blows my mind hearing you talk about forex. I didn't think like you. You pretty much just said there's multiple ways to get money within Forex alone. Yeah, absolutely. I thought it was just the trading. No, the trade the trading is the the biggest part of what Forex is. Mm -hmm. But what I am Mastery Academy does, there's so much and like I said, the compensation plan. I never seen a company that I know of that they don't care if you black, you white, you green, you got a degree, you're a doctor. You from the hood, you just came out of jail. Mm -hmm. you about if you're a hustler, you're a hustler. Exactly. Right. You know what I mean? If you can grasp the concept the concept of trading and you're a people person and you can introduce people to the company and just basically, you know, put them on the same path that you took, there's no ceiling. Exactly. And that's mm -hmm. what I like most about what you and the people you do it with is it's all a, bl a bunch of black people pulling each other up. Yeah. Everybody doesn't wear a suit. Cause you know when somebody's selling you something, they gotta wear a suit, yeah. talk fast. Yeah. Nah, you see, Rise a cool, laid back yeah. type of dude. Cause I'm gonna Cause make money regardless. There you yeah, go. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There you go. I trade. He's like I'm a trader, fun. so like I'm gonna make money regardless. When I got into this, I I call my man right now. I told him, I said I don't want to talk to nobody. I just want to trade, make my money, right, and that's it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? My my goal getting into this was to be a six figure earner, a uh -huh. six figure trader, specifically from trading, make six figures, liquid money. From trading, right. I still I haven't hit that yet, but that's my goal. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And but I just from before I even started doing this, I you know I was in the entertainment, I was doing yeah. you know, parties and all that shit. So I just connect with people. You but know that's what I mean? Smart that you you transitioned at the perfect time. Cause I'm an entertainer. 
I'm in the, they had me performing in parks all summer. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You got out perfect time. Boop boop. He, like like I must say from the outside looking in, I don't know exactly when he got in because I'll be I'll be asking him his business like that. But I would say like six months to a year before COVID, right? He started transitioning into forex, and I'm hearing you this. Been doing that long? And I'm hearing no. what he. How long you been doing this? I think he's been doing this like ten years. Nah. I mean, hello. I'm gonna be honest. I started doing this maybe seven months ago. Six months. Wait a minute. Oh, see, wait a minute. Wait. So he started doing this. Pause the podcast. Pause the podcast. Yeah. You have been doing this six months? Yeah, six months. That's a fact. Six months, and I yeah. have I can have gold bars on my head too. Yeah. Six <laughs> months. Like, it depends on it depends on your work ethic. Wow. You know what I mean, like I literally I wake up. Six I, I months, nigga. <laughs> I hop on the computer, I do a lot of research, I do a lot, I do more reading now than I ever did wow. in school. Nigga, read books. Yo, you know what's crazy? Yeah. It's like, I, I, do a lot. I, do, I, I be doing a lot of audio books. <laughs> yeah, I'm all yeah, yeah, yeah. Work well, smart and I'm all the fuck up. Yeah, yeah truth come out. I'm all, listen, I'm all working book. smart. <laughs> See, I gotta be careful with this guy, because he'll go home and curse his family out. <laughs> six fuck months? y'all, I don't yeah, need y'all motherfuckers. Wow. <laughs> that was six months. That changed And my rank, I'm P1000. I mean, that means I have 30 people accrued between me and people that I brought into the company. Okay. I have 30 people under me that I, I, I take responsibility for on helping them take care of their families. Wow. You know what I mean? I, and I'm also, I, I, I'm from the street. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I came, I'm from the gutter. So, like, it's, I take pride in my name meaning something. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I'm not attaching my name to nothing that's a scam. I'm not, atta- I'm not, that's not what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Not on the first. Yeah. Actually, I wanted to ask a question too. You keep using the word trade, right? So generally, as somebody who really didn't know what this was until like a week ago, it's like it's one of those things where if you hear trade, you automatically relate this to like the stock market, right? Yeah. It's just something. So for like the average viewer out there who may not know too much, is this something that's relatable to that, or is this something um, that's totally it's, different? It's somewhat relatable. That we use all the same, like all of you know the graphs and like the, 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 the market you know? yeah the, like like the the mark the candle like candle markets where you look at mm-hmm. it it looks pretty much the same similar all of the indicators are the same stochastic mm-hmm. rsi uh Bolger bands you use all the same all of those same things but the stock market is you are you you're getting in on a specific company yeah you trade in with companies. yeah you're trading a specific company and whether oh, okay. they whether they they win give the company you know, grows or it doesn't or it depreciates, you either win or lose money. Mm-hmm. With Forex or well with binary options, it's time based. So with the stock, you can go to sleep and wake up broke if something yeah. crazy happens. That just stop market. Like if you yeah. like we was just talking about before we came on the air, if you had Papa John stock twenty years ago, the C- Papa John said nigga and you woke up today like you yeah. want to fight him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. That's fact. Yeah. You know? But with, with Forex, you're, bi- you're, you're trading the whole economic system of com- countries. So that being said. Like, boom, Jamaica. Yeah. If whoever has their, their own currency, you're... Uh-huh. You know, like you have a, you go on vacation. You go on yeah. vacation. Yeah, yeah, I'll be out there. He be, see, he be he seeing be me. I'll be low, yeah, 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 he but he be, low. be he seeing me. He's going everywhere. So, <laughs> so feed out and everything. Yeah, so when you shit. go on vacation and you go to the currency exchange booth, you ever notice when you go there and you give them hundred dollars, whatever you give them, right? And then you you're exchanging currency. Uh huh. If you look behind the teller, you always see the numbers. The flipping. rates, yeah. It's flipping. That's right, the right. that's that's supply and demand. Oh, okay. And so every time money is exchanged, or you or con- when countries do business be- be- between each other, they don't just United States doesn't just go to a country and give them hundred dollar bills. They they exchange the currency in oh. that country's currency first, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then make that. purchases. Mm-hmm. That affects their economy. It affects our economy too. And those little those little uh, like we call them pips. So it's like it's not whole cents. It's like a p- percentage of a. Sent it's like a little bit, yeah. Where every time that fluctuates, those are opportunities to, to win money. Oh, okay. So, See, I, I understand exactly what he just said. Like, that makes sense to me. You it's know it's a mean? lot to take in. I'm not going to lie. It's a lot to take in. Yeah. But that being said, I do have a follow-up question to that. So, like, what we saw with GameStop, like, four weeks ago, right? That's not something that's going to happen on this type of level. You know what I'm saying? Uh, do, right. Well, 
GameStop is different. That's a whole. That's what something that happened within a, com- a company and right. That's the, we're talking company versus like yeah. country currency. So nah, it's two country totally currency. Play. So that's why crypto is such a big thing now, mm-hmm. and which is, is 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 a big deal and it's here to stay. I mean, a lot, you know, a lot of people is like, well, I don't know if it's gonna stay. I don't know what's what it is or whatever. Crypto's not going nowhere. Yo, all right, all right, real quick. Runway called this about three weeks ago, I'm going to say, maybe four weeks ago. He said, buy Bitcoin, price is going to be crazy. It's going to go up. I know it's down right now, buy Bitcoin. He said that three, four weeks ago on Instagram. Really? Yeah, because oh, every morning, on my right every, now, morning every morning when I have my acai bowl, boom, he's on there just letting us know. You know what I mean? He said, boom, three weeks, boom, boom. Buy Bitcoin. He pre- he actually you know? he because he's a real one. He knows shit. Because <laughs> he a real one. Bro, he <laughs> said you know. he said yo Bitcoin gonna go back up. He said give it a few months before the summer. It's gonna go back up. Next thing you know, that was three weeks ago. Bitcoin at what fifty three thousand now? Fit, now right now it's at fifty six, but it hit Holy it hit fifty nine uh, the other day, yesterday, day before yesterday, something like that. Yeah, it's yeah. at fifty six, but I called it at thirty eight. I said wow. it's gonna yeah. go. It's good. It's projected to go over a hundred thousand by summer. Yo, my man, no, that was my man. He, he, talk, he was talking about Bitcoin. Everybody was talking about Dogecoin. That was, yeah. that was the difference. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right before that, but it, it all of it is cryptocurrency. So cryptocurrency is is digital money. It's digital currency mm-hmm. that is not owned by a particular co- uh, country. Mm-hmm. That's why it's here to stay. Oh, okay. Because okay. countries, yeah. things that happen in countries that affects their economy. Right. Nothing can affect. Digital. Economy of a country that doesn't exist. Right. It's either it's supply and demand is what drives up the price, what drives up the value. Everything is digital. The world is going digital. Yeah, like, true. it's you places even... that you don't, don't even accept. What people Cash, anymore? Yeah. Wild, crazy. Holy tolls. Shit. You know what I mean? Tolls is tolls, everything. Tolls? Like, 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 yeah. Don't nobody want to touch money no more. Wait, tolls. Yeah. Oh, he's talk, he talk, he talking about hoes. He's no, he hoes. I shit. heard toes. Yeah, he got a foot fetish. <laughs> <laughs> he said Nobody to- said toes. He just randomly said toes. No, like, he nah, said toes. Toll. Like driving through the tolls. There's no wrong. There's no pay tolls oh. anymore. Oh, yeah, easy fast. Can't give everybody yeah. dogs. So every <laughs> dog. This is vintage right everything here. Everything is digital. Everything <laughs> is digital. That's the way the world is going in. That's true. You know what I mean? And then, you know, we live in a monkey see, monkey do society. Elon Musk, a week and a half ago, just. He cashed out. One point, one point five billion. Mm-hmm. He cashed into out. it. You can, you can buy a Tesla with Bitcoin. That's crazy. Wow. PayPal man. just adopted Bit- Bitcoin as one of the currencies you can pay with. That's crazy. Oh, this is they about to start selling yeah. pussy with Bitcoin. It's coming. It's coming. You have to. So, what do you like? All right, we got the. Because to you, there's many different facets to you. The forex thing. That's just one part of you. What at when all of this is said and done? What do what do you want to be known for? Like what you want your I, legacy to deep. be? My like, legacy. I want to be a mogul. Okay. I want. I don't, I want to do everything. It's like <laughs> I want to do everything. I want to help. Uh, my biggest thing is helping people. Yeah. That way, other people get rich. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, and that's what made me get into the company. Like that's what made me go so hard because I see what it is. Like I literally make money by helping other people make money. Yeah. yeah. Wow. If I don't help nobody else make money. My money stays the same. Wow. If I help people, if I help ten people make ten thousand dollars a month, I make two hundred fifty thousand dollars a month. And then if they help, if they rise to two hundred fifty thousand. You could PC on and that. Then, it, it everything is oh. everything everything. It's the drug and so, game. Uh, and it's so, the drug <laughs> game. <laughs> I, that's what I, 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 I listen. I told you I'm a street dude, so I relate everything back to the street rules. Right. Right. You know what I mean? So. Uh, so, Rich Dad Poor Dad, uh-huh. I don't know if you ever read it, he talks about the uh, cash flow quadrant. Yeah. It says 60%, 60% of the world economy work for some, that they work, they, they do everyday jobs. Wow. Okay. That's, yeah. that's, every, yeah, class, every day, yeah. punch the clock. Mm-hmm. Nurses, doc, nine doc, whoever, nine yeah. to five. Yo, then, that, I, I could not do that, bro. I've been fired from yeah. every single job. Bro, there's nothing wrong with having a job. I'm it's not, not nothing wrong with it. I'm I not just can't do that. it. I hate I'm not shit. knocking that, but... Only I, having a job, there's something wrong with that. Yes, I agree with that. Because I know people that make six figures from having a job and still broke. 
Yes. Mm. I mean, we were good talking about that. Uh, Everybody that I know that has it. two jobs is still broke. Yeah. How you working double the amount of time? Well, three jobs, no they still broke. Yeah. How that work? That's the country. That makes no it. sense. So what? They, essentially, what they're doing is trading their time for money. Yes. And losing it that. Yeah. So they're working. They're giving their time in exchange for money. When wow. you create multiple streams of income, you you gotta find ways to spend this shit. Nah, you gotta find ways. That's not the right answer. That's not the right answer. That's not the right answer. Listen, real shit. It's real shit. You gotta find ways to pimp your money. Mm-hmm. Make your money work, work for, for work you. For you. Or exactly. You know what I mean? People that are rich right now, they're rich. They they stay rich. Everybody get money. Especially PPP loans and yeah yeah everybody got a way to get money. Everybody yeah. get money. It's a pandemic. But yeah, it's, man. Real, it's, a, right it's a really small percentage of people that keep it. And the right. people that are keeping money right now, it's because of decisions that that real money is because of decisions that they made five years ago. Right. Oh, that's interesting. Ten years ago. So when I say when I said at thirty eight thousand to get in on Bitcoin three years from now, what if it's at three hundred fifty thousand a coin? What if it's at five hundred thousand a coin? But what if it's at what if it drops? You know what I'm saying? It's possible. But yeah. well, what's the likeliness of that? It's low, but it could happen. Yeah, but if it does, then what you do? You take another shot. Hey, I like that. I like that. You keep trying. Shoot, you shoot. miss. You shoot. You, shoot, you miss shoot. every shot you don't take. Oh, Jordan said that. Ooh. You miss every shot you don't take. Can I get that again for the niggas in the back? Somebody in the back. The niggas in the back. They cash it. You miss every shot you don't take, bro. Wealthy, wealthy people. I'm not scared. The different the difference between people that got money and people that are poor, mm-hmm. and poor is just I don't I'm poor is just passing over opportunities regularly. Right. That's mm-hmm. but you just how many good ideas you came in your head and you like I'm talk a, yourself out. Right. I'ma wait till yeah, I'ma wait till they see somebody else do it. After I graduate or some shit like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then a year, two years later, somebody has your ID and like this, this nigga stole my that ID. Was my right? shit. Exactly. You know what I mean? The difference between people that got money and people that are wealthy and people that are poor is mindset. That's Both it. people mentality. There's a wealthy, reason why they say that. Wealthy people are not scared to fail. Mm-hmm. Like if because if I fail at this, I that I know that this doesn't work, or I know to adjust something to make it work, and then I'm gonna take another shot with something else. And if that don't work, I'm gonna take another shot. One of them gonna go in. So, <laughs> I tell I him that mentality. I tell him that I use the same in. philosophy with comedy and show business. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of times he'd be like, "So what you gonna do now?" I'm be like, "I'm gonna take that shot. I'm gonna go ahead and tell." And like, I, I got some shit on the table right now. Viola Davis, I'm ready. Let's go. All Let's of that go. Going. But right. and he's like, "Yo, but what do you do?" And then I'm gonna keep shooting. Like Absolutely. it ain't just That's one about. play. Nah, I got the whole playbook right yeah. here. You know what I mean, we we. Got to. I'm throwing this shit deep. Now your average chance. person, your average person is gonna make the argument. Okay, well, what if I shoot and I lose everything? Then what? How I rebuild from nothing? I'm then. gonna let him answer, but my answer to that, like I, I don't know this shit. The way he knows it, but if I'm just trading the currency in other countries, I'm taking. It seems like you can't lose all your money in this. I don't think. I, I don't think. I mean, you can lose you, all your money. If you anything. trade all your money, you can lose. It's about anything. having. It goes back to discipline. It goes back to learning. It goes back to leverage. Mm. Why would I leverage everything that I have on something that I'm not? Confident in it makes sense. If I'm a hundred percent confident in something and then I shoot my shot and I fail, I I can't blame nobody but me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like if I yeah, if I take somebody's advice on something that I'm not really sure of and then I lose everything, then I'm gonna be I'm gonna kick myself in the ass because like I wasn't really sure. But if I feel like this is it, I'm taking that shot every time. Right. All right. Now you, you hey, I gotta believe in me. Yeah. What yeah. To. So there's, there's there's things in place to help you know help you. Bro, that's why I said it's a process. This is not a this is not a get rich quick scheme at all. If you think that somebody tells you that they're lying, if somebody tells you that they're gonna win every trade, they're lying. People lose, we lose trades every day. I lose I lost plenty of trades. When I first started, I blew I blew a couple dollars. For six months, my nigga. Yeah, just for six months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, man, when I first real shit. He's still a rookie at this. It's real actually shit. amazing though, man. But I just got I get a lot I get a lot of assistance. I get a lot mm-hmm. of help. Shout out to Maddie Pips. There you go. Shout out to Maddie Pips. I get a lot you of can't help. Can't do it alone. I be telling Shout out to D-Ray, D-Ray, uh, D-Ray Davis? No, no, no. Jumping the gun. <laughs> D-Woods, my man D-Woods. He, he, he's another trader. Right. Um, Ness. 
all of the all of the all of the people with uh, you know the I am Academy, they really helpful. They really, really, really helpful. Then there, there's all type of we have all type of technology. We have different strategies. We have shit where you get text messages to your phone about trade ideas. There's things wow. that you know what I mean? Yeah, like So it's like a community. It's not it's like a, it's a, it's that it's a family. Wow. It's a family. You get it's nothing but support, it's nothing but people that wanna win because every time somebody wins in a company, somebody above them wins. And somebody above them wins. So we all win. Everybody, everybody's getting money. I love so shit at, like that, man. Look, like it's possible yeah. for all of us to win. Right. I, love I mean, that. there's people getting real money and don't gotta look over their shoulder. Right. Wow. Let's stay focused. Ron got the Dior rain jacket, and it's not raining outside. That's different type <laughs> of bread. Like, oh, different geez. type of bread going oh, on being man. exchanged. Dior said, "Can you hold them there for a minute?" That's oh, what I'm doing. Man. I'm playing my part. But so, what should the average person? Start doing to expand their financial education. Like the oh. average, like, quote, knows <laughs> okay. jack shit about anything. <laughs> right. Money, he knows to, even less about. To be fair. Read. Okay. Right, read, 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 go on the internet. Everything, though, literally, the whole world is right here. And he got three phones. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, yeah. He got three phones. No, no, this is, bro, this is, this is millions and billions of dollars right here. Not really. Millions of dollars right there. Now, do you use it just to call people and FaceTime and bullshit? Or, you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> or, yeah, me too. I, I'm a bullshitter. Me too. But do you also use it to, to research? Further your goals. To further, yeah, further yeah. yourself. Right Can now? I ask you personally, what was the very first, whether it would be a book or whether it be somebody, well, whatever it was, what was the very first thing you did when you was like, I want to do this, I want to get started with this? What was um, your first move? Well, I always been an entrepreneur, so I always I, I had a couple dollars before I came into this. Mm -hmm. But you know, um, as far as books, like education. Yeah, say a book maybe that you oh, read or um, the science of getting rich, thinking like grow that. rich. Those just those are just like really, those yeah, yeah, but not it's 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 like principles to it's a science to getting rich. It's it's a way that you're supposed to think. It's a way that you you know you offer a service. Right. So there, there are two types of people in the world. There are people that want to be taken care of, and then there are people mm -hmm. that want to take care of people. And there's people who drink Dom Perignon, and I'm drunk. You need to put that bottle down. I see, I, what, I see what happens to you. Yeah. Like, this nigga, let me so tell you something. Last <laughs> time I was feeling like, like this, this bro. I'm telling everybody yeah. everything. Childhood when you, secrets. When, you, when, you, when people that provide a service that is... There are people that provide a service just to get money out of people. Those, those type of people, that never last. Right. You got to keep coming up with ways to... Do whatever you're doing. And then there are people that provide service, whether it's information, whether it's whatever it is. If it helps people right. more than it costs them to... to if you, I provide a service that costs $300. Mm -hmm. I provide a service that costs $300. Uh -huh. But the service that I provide allows you to make thousands of dollars. I'm always going to be good. Always. You feel me? Because the both of y'all is winning. Yeah, yeah. I'm all. Oh, oh, I got. If I help twenty people, if I if I get twenty people to pay me three hundred fifty dollars for advice or service that works, mm -hmm. that's beneficial for them, and they all become millionaires, thousandaires, whatever. So that's ten people that I can call anytime. That's ten people that I can. You know what I mean? That's ten reliable resources. Mm -hmm. That's ten references. That's 10 people talking to other people to grow my brand and my business. That's like a snowball effect. Like, it That's just it. keep getting bigger and bigger That's and bigger. It. As long as you're doing that, you're going to always be good. Wow. So, all right. I could tell by his energy. He calls soul. I'm soul too. But Quo's ready to jump in. <laughs> he got some personal shit going on. Yeah. He need money I, I, quick. I just need gas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest with you. Like, where could somebody who... Is obviously knows very little. What is like? What's the minimal they can jump in? Cause Quan ain't got bread like well, that. Well, got student loans I mean, okay. out the ass. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, they got so, the car. So gotta keep the whip. I'm gonna be honest. To actually just jump in and trade, you get with a broker. You can trade as low as ten dollars, twenty dollars, mm -hmm. and you know learn on your own. So get with the company that I work with, I Am Mastery Academy. We have three different academies that focuses on one on just Forex. Mm -hmm. Well, four actually. One that focuses on just Forex. One that focuses on cryptocurrency. Oh, wow. Okay. And everything that has to do with cryptocurrency. One that focuses on high high frequency Forex, which is, we call it money in minutes. 
we do three um, one minute trades up to 15 minute trades where you can as much as you want to trade whatever you can possibility is endless and then we just added something i think it's ecx where you basically you get training on having your own online store where you actually don't have to have products with you 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 pretty much just go yeah. on there they tell you they teach you about drop shipping drop shipping is where Someone That's, will go on your site, you, mm -hmm. you create a website, they go on your site, you put products onto your site, TV, phone, whatever the case may be, and every time somebody comes onto your site because of your likeness, right. and they buy something, the company ships their, their items straight to them, and yeah. you get a percentage. Yep, they take their little, they take their piece off it. That's I, I use something like that. So when y'all yeah. order my merch, go to wellyjackson.com, <laughs> get y'all t-shirts, get y'all hoodies. Yeah, That's do that. like I got two yeah. warehouses set up, one in Charlotte and one in Texas. So you know, if you order something on the West Coast, boom, it's not gonna take a week to get to you. It's gonna take two yeah, days. Drop, that's called that's called drop shipping. Yeah. So any one of those four, we, we um. Well, three of the four are is two is one time payment of two thirty five mm -hmm. for the information for to access to the platform mm -hmm. so, and everything's laid out for you. Also, access to all of the uh, you have access to all of the strategy. We have twelve different strategies that help you that send you information to your phone, trade right. ideas or whatever. And then um, to go live, to go lives is the schedule of a hundred plus people that you help you. Uh, they do trainings and then they do actually live trading sessions. You know, Maddie Pips did the live yeah. made seventy thousand dollars in fifteen minutes. Woo! Fifteen minutes? Yeah. Now, don't get it twisted. Runway did a live. <laughs> he did a <laughs> webinar. We had he had the you know he had the red pool table in his background. My man is not regular. Don't yeah. get it twisted. Nah, nah. Yeah, yeah. Yo, it's a lot of people making real money. Before we go any further, let people know where they can follow you at. Uh, everything. Instagram, runway dot royalty. Uh huh. Runway royalty. Check them out. Uh, yeah, trade gang dot global. That's my website. Uh huh. Uh, trade on uh, on Instagram. Tra uh, trade gang. Same thing. Trade gang. Trade gang dot global. The A, T R A D E, G V N G. Okay. All right. Trade gang. I see what you do with that. Yeah. That's yeah, why yeah. I put put this put the little yeah, swag on it. That's it. I ain't mad at you. That's Both. What's up? But don't get it twisted. Rock got some stuff coming up. What you got coming up? I know, but let the people know. Yeah, other, know. Other than buying more Dior, because they got to make the shit first. <laughs> yeah, well, I, That's we, nice. if we ever open up, if we ever open up, <laughs> I got plenty of things in store. But uh, I'm doing a live free webinar. Uh, at same thing, tradegang.global. Um, live from uh, Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm going to take some trades Ooh, from Dior. Dior. You can trade anywhere. If you got the internet, you have a phone, you have a laptop, you have... An iPad, you can trade anywhere. So I'm gonna take some. I'm a, I'm going on vacation Thursday, so I'm gonna do a live webinar from Dominican Republic and yo tune make into some that. I'm tuning in. I need I need in. Like yeah, he's my man. I want in. Yeah, no, same here. Bro, I listen. I, I I'm watching too much money be exchanged there. I need yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. So I'm tuning in for the webinar. How much was made in fifteen minutes? So I mean, I personally made I made forty five, a little over forty five hundred. But people was like, "That's crazy, fifteen wow. minutes, forty five hundred. But the dude that I was watching, yeah. Maddie Pips, like again, shout out to Maddie Pips. He took four trades and made eighteen thousand dollars profit on each trade in fifteen minutes. You know what I've done in fifteen minutes? You don't want, actually, you don't, <laughs> you don't, you don't want to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know what I've done in fifteen minutes. <laughs> We got, we got to say, we got, we got to say pause. Yeah, we got yeah. to say pause. And, yeah, it's gonna get crazy. <laughs> you know? yeah, ain't nobody wanna know that. Never Cole mind. just started taking Seymour's. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Yeah, man, man let me tell I, you. Shit. Yo, I'm ocean, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Who, 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 Follow him on Instagram. You get all the information there. Boom. So, because you always, like, you're just a different cloth type of dude. You know what I mean? Like, let me paint the picture for y'all. Okay. Like, he got his son a LLC. He got a son of business. 
DSM. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> vending machine. Vending machine. Casual. That was yeah. 16, 16, 16. Yeah, you gave him the vending machine idea? That, that's yeah. where it came from? Oh, <laughs> yeah. he, he was talking about these vending machines <laughs> as he, a year yeah. ago. A year ago, he's like, yo, Al, I'm changing the game. Fuck yeah, all this yeah. comedy shit, I'm getting it on the vending machines. I was like, hey, bro. He said dentist office. If you put a vending <laughs> machine office. in the doctor's office, just check your chips. Because they get the all type of chip. Yeah. <laughs> bro, if you in the doctor's office, you automatically want a snack. Yeah, that's, that's it. He was talking about the vending right. machine game. I said, "Where did right. you get this gold from?" The crazy, I, I you know, the crazy thing is, dentist office. Yes, yes. Isn't that kind of counterintuitive, though. Exactly. Like, they oh, they so give candy out to kids after they get their teeth cleaned. Sure. <laughs> Keep yeah. the business yeah. coming yeah, in. Man. For his 16th birthday, that was my gift to him. Wow. Yes. Yes. LLC. Uh, Shout yes. out to Jalen. Wow. And Boogie. Yeah. You got a, he got an LLC yeah. for his 16th birthday? Yeah. I got a taco. <laughs> I'm not even playing. I got a number three from Taco Bell. That's what I got. <laughs> for, my, for, my, for my 16th? Yeah. yeah Happy yeah, birthday, yeah, son. Yeah, That's yeah. what it was. 2021. Listen, 2020, it, it staggered us, man. But what it did, it was a lot of, we took a lot of loss. It was a lot of things, but it also reset the world, man. Yes. So when things open back up, we have plenty of time to regroup. 2021 is definitely the year of acceleration, man. If you ain't trying to move ahead, if you ain't trying to help somebody move, that's the that's the easiest way for everybody to win. Helping somebody else move ahead. Shout out to Fest, my man Fest, man. Can't shout out to him, man. He got heavy on the camera. Super dope, super dope artist as well. Oh, all right, all right, all right. That's what's up, man. Shout you got bars? Ray. On the hat, too? Hey, the, the okay. okay. Yeah. I was going to tell him come spit, but he ain't have the confidence behind him. Oh, no, nah, I'm just humble. Nah, nah you on your yeah, yeah. street he boy shit. Yeah. He he here representing my guy, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's so good. It's so good, man. Nah, that's what's up. So, all right, back to the Forex thing real quick. I, I don't want to ask that. That was a bad question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what are we saving this or are we drinking this? We could, we could do whatever. We're doing it all. Yo, bro. We're doing it all. I'm telling you, son. Oh, you glow in the dark. It do glow in the dark. It's a, the, bottle light light, light, man. the bottles light up? Well, come on. Hey, y'all gonna tell me y'all seen that before, too? I ain't never seen no shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yo, we going out. We going out. <laughs> we going out. No, no bullshit. Hey. Y'all got this on camera, man. We going out. I got, uh, listen. It's the yeah. okay. I got you, bro. Yo, this is I why. You, yes. Yo, yes. you don't even understand. You know what's crazy? I could have sworn these two really knew each other from somewhere. We do. Like, like no, before y'all first met the oh. last episode. <laughs> I thought y'all really yeah, knew each other. I, I met him just... From shows. Oh, I yeah, come you know, to the shows and yeah, shit. I see you, bro. I'm going to go to the bottle. store, though. man. I ain't going to spill it. Yo. <laughs> but, man, see, I'm going to roll, man. Uh, no, I'm, come on. Said, Certain things don't need to even be explained. Uh, you you already know you that. Got the I include Ryan on, and all my shit, man. You know that. Ryan was about to pull up on last OG sets, man. This is crazy. But, so, with that being said, like, all right. We, 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 we did the Forex thing. So, we, 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 we could put to bed... Forex is not a pyramid scheme. No, like, absolutely not. That's the easy way to say I'm scared to get in. But no, that again, that like I said, that's the I'm putting water in that shit. That's after. The, <laughs> again, let's drink this. Can we put water in it? Does this still light up? Nah, yeah, 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 nah, yeah. Oh, word? You gotta save that bottle. That, that, that's a bottle's not going nowhere, brother. You saving Every that. episode is sponsored by Don P, man. I like that. Keep that Shout out to Don P. Yeah. Shout out to them. Out. Listen, I like that. Home would be better, man. Home is oh, that ace of spade is different. Home is black on, so mm -hmm. do the right thing, baby. He said, do the right I like that. You know what I'm <laughs> so, again, that goes back to the delivery. And then, again, that goes back to different companies have their own conversation plans. So, a lot of people focus more on, you know, the recruiting than the actual trading, teaching people how to trade. Right. So right. that's where people be like, oh, it's a pyramid scheme. I got to go get somebody. They just got in on the yeah. wrong team See, or with, wrong company. Yeah, either the wrong company or just the wrong leadership. Everybody's not a leader. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I mean? So, and so, so you that's, really that's where that comes from. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. You definitely got to do your due diligence, man. You can't just take people's information and run with it and just because, you know what I mean? Like, everybody's trying to win out here. Everybody's trying to find a way to make money. So you definitely got to do your, do, your own due diligence with everything. All right, cool. You know, you're absolutely right. So, <clears throat> you know, being that we in different times, I don't want to call them hard times because times are not hard for everybody. I'm, I'm not having a hard time. I'm good. You good. He I struggled. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 times have been so better. You see how it goes? <laughs> shit, shit has been better. That's I ain't doing too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hosting a... Yeah, right? Time yeah. podcast. Yeah, 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 damn right. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. sees it. Yeah. 
Look at a white yeah. jacket. But it's a government ass, I'm struggling. Right. No, that's <laughs> that's, that's the always the answer. No, I'm struggling to that. You treat the go- you treat the government <laughs> the same way. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing. Right, he said me too. <laughs> you treat the government the same you way you treat man. black family. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I'm broke. Mm, I, I need what call that black say? I ain't got nothing, man. <laughs> that's I ain't it. got nothing. <laughs> that shit be prop money. But all right, so we in different times now, right? And I, obviously, there's people going through different shit. Mm-hmm. So, what advice would you give to somebody suffering through, let's say, like mental, mental health issues right now? Because like coming from when I like, people don't really like hearing Welly talk. They're like, oh, this nigga life perfect. You know what I mean? Like, he got it. They don't, listen, they don't listen to everything you say. But right, you see what I'm saying? They like, don't listen to what they want to hear. So, what, what would you say to somebody who's struggling through it? They can't, you know what mm. I mean? Man, if they're just mentally struggling through yeah. everything with this whole pandemic thing mm. and all that. Ah, man, fine God. That's big. Mm-hmm. No, I fuck with that. Fine God. Like, how you pull yourself out and be like, yo, you know what? Oh. I'm going to get past this. Faith. Man, my faith, my faith is on a hundred, right. hundred thousand. Gotcha. I, I done been, if you know me personally, I done mm-hmm. been through some some shit. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Where a lot of people counted me out and thought it was over. Yeah, man. You know I, I, I learned mean? a lot from that as well. Yeah. So like, uh, I, I, hey, hey, can't nobody on this earth tell me that God ain't real? Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. You know, you, you. you, know you, you if bro, anybody knows, bro, you know, God's real because it's. it's I've been in too many situations, not just you know, mm-hmm. not just that. I just been in, I've been in too many situations where it was just looked at nasty, and I and he pulled me up out of it. Yeah, you know wow. I mean? a lot of my friends is gone. A lot of my friends is dead. Bro, yes. I tell these dead. guys every week, like, almost everybody that we grew up with is either dead or in jail. Yeah, they laugh. Yeah. They think it's hilarious. Okay, so, you always say they, then you point to me. Like I ain't, I ain't gonna laugh. Because the rest always. of the people not here. <laughs> It's a faith thing, man. Real, yeah. real, real shit. You gotta be. You gotta have faith, and you gotta be thankful. I think being thankful for the things that you have right. already. Yep. That's it. And and you gotta have a willingness to to want to grow. This is thirty eight year old Ramel right. talking to y'all. That's what's up. But eighteen year old different. Especially me. I know that. Bro, different. Yeah, me too. I got shot at eighteen. Wow. Wow. Yeah. What? But, I got shot oh, at shit. but bro, that's yeah. just where we come from. Like you could just be walking yeah. through the big park at the wrong time. Yeah. You like yeah, it, I, I got shot at eighteen, real shit. It, 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 it's it's like a lot that. of trauma in the hood, man. A lot of trauma goes on in the hood. Yes. Bro. People don't realize it because it's glorified in rap music, but a lot of the things you go through in the projects or in the, the bad neighborhoods the inner city, whatever you want to call it, it's, it's traumatic. And as black people, we don't take mental mental health serious. That's why I, that's why I respect Charlemagne so much because he's been on the forefront of just sharing mental health. Yeah, Let, letting yeah. black people know that mental health is oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's he, okay to talk. He, about he educated so. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. everything. That's true. You know, yes. when you're young, you don't want to hear that shit. Yeah, I was, I was one of those people. I was one of the people. I think I knew everything. Mm-hmm. Type shit. So. Once you start getting information and you want to be rich, you gotta you gotta be around rich people. That's exactly what you know it know is. I mean? The you people gotta... you hang with determine yeah, where you yeah, go. I'm don't, don't, you. don't get it twisted. Yeah. Rock, rock, remember when I I was just telling you a story the other day. Caroline's, me, Tiffany Haddish, mm-hmm. we was rocking out. Caroline's will be Goldberg there. Mm-hmm. Runway was in the building. You was at that? Oh, 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 damn. This is my man. You had him backstage? Yeah, he was. Oh, come on. Man. He don't even know. I shot my shot at Tiffany. He shot his shot at Tiffany. Yo. For the money, man. He said before the I respect that. I respect that. Shout out to Tiffany. What's up, baby? He said, what's up, baby? See, that's what y'all don't understand. He's really my man. But all right, cool. So, boom. Real quick, Friday. What's going on Friday? Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern. 8 p.m. Uh-huh. I'm going live, live webinar, uh, Forex, uh, informational. I'm just giving you information on free game. What we do, uh, how to get into business, how much it's gonna cost, and what what the benefits of the opportunity present. Right. Uh, live from Dominican Republic. Dr. Wow. Wow. Toes in the sand. Yes. Yeah, live from Dr. Yeah. Wow. So pretty much what he's saying is he's just gonna give y'all all the information. He's not gonna pressure y'all to make no decisions. That's on y'all. But if you want to get money, you may want to join the Lakers or the Nets 
Rather than go to Oklahoma City and struggle, why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> you understand know what I'm saying? Well, we in the league anyway, so why not just go to the Lakers, get the ring, or Brooklyn? You know what I mean? But y'all, you guys want to go to Oklahoma City? That's on you. That's cool. But one more time, where they can follow you at on social media? Uh, runway Royalty, Runway wow. Royalty on all social media. Cool. We got a segment on the show called Truth to Truth. You listen to the show, so you already know, you already the know how this go. Runway's been here a few times. Boom. Truth for truth. I know. We just go around the room. Everybody get one question. We can ask whatever you want. It don't got to be no forex. It can be whatever you Anything. want. Yeah. Whatever. You you could ask him, can you hold this chain? If he swing on you, that's, <laughs> that's on you. Nice. I don't got nothing to do with that. Nice. All right? Cool, cool. I ain't going to hold Cool. It. Rod's too ready. He's ready. Yeah, He's ready to go. I'm ready to go. So go ahead. Solid all the way around. Let's My go. My question for you, Rod. Real talk. Now, do you consider yourself a wise person? You sound really wise. Uh, well, you got this theory that fat niggas think they're wise. <laughs> 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 you, you not what? You yeah, not fat. Fat niggas. You, listen, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm well, you. Listen, fat niggas, bro. Especially young. They either, you either gotta be funny. <laughs> Or you gotta get fly. Yes. <laughs> if you think about it, every cool fat nigga get money and, and super fly, but he's funny as shit and he make girls laugh. <laughs> one and two. If you ain't doing one of those, your life sucks. <laughs> Guaranteed. I'm done. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Well, you got this theory that fat niggas think they wise. But my question to you, seriously, do you feel? I mean, you sound hearing you talk about everything. You sound wise, really wise. What do you feel like? Did you really feel like you reached a certain point where you gained enough knowledge where you could start sharing it? Or was it just something that as you learned, it's something that you just want to keep sharing um, with other people? Wait, as far as Forex or as far as just In life? general, because you got a good life philosophy and obviously Forex is your, your craft. So it's like, you know, I feel like you really meshed the two together. And it's like, just overall, you know what I'm saying? That's a good question. I, honestly, like I said, I'm from the street. And mm -hmm. when, you in, when you come from the street, you, you take pride in being solid. Not telling, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Holding yourself to a certain level and showing respect. Well, well, the era that I'm from, like Jay, Jay was my favorite artist coming up, so it was always like, it's a time and place for everything. You could be you could be a gangster and not do dumb shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So at this point, I done been through so much crazy shit that I done got up out of. You know what I mean? I'm still blessed. My kids is great, mm -hmm. healthy, everything is good. I just want to change the narrative that to get money you gotta do you gotta do dumb shit. Right. You gotta do a lot of people be illegal shit. Now. Nah, I want to make it cool to be to be. I want to make it cool to be smart. Yeah, you know what I'm saying I want to you. I can you can get the girl. You can have the jewelry. You can do all of that shit and not have to just be a ball player. Or mm -hmm. you know what I mean I play ball, but I I, I ain't hit the gene the gene lotto. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's the thing too. No, I, I, was, I, I was I was super nice, but I was I didn't I ain't six four. <laughs> that's the thing. Raza Raza's a solid point guard. If you're putting the team Rise. together, you need a point guard. Real shit. Point. I ain't hit the genetic lotto. You grab Rob, boom, pull. <laughs> Unselfish point guard. He gon' he gonna keep everybody happy. Wow. Yes, he can do that. He get that done for you. Yeah, no, that's absolutely yeah, true. Yeah, no, so to answer your question, I just wanted to change the narrative that you gotta be you gotta, it gotta be a negative connotation as to being successful and coming from I like where that. I come from. I just mm -hmm. wanted to make it, make it cool to be smart. I like you know that. I mean? man. Yeah, because where we come from, you gotta either play basketball or rap, and yeah. or else it's it's yeah. looking bleak for you. Yeah, and seriously. Or, or hustle. So like yeah. I said, I just want to give another avenue and make it, make it cool to give it, give it a narrative that you can still be fly, you can still get the girl, you can still wear the jewelry, and. Not have to do those things, you know what I'm saying? Right. And it's also it is also important to share information, man. Mm, that's right. Unselfish. Not keep it to you yourself, that, man. Yeah. I hear about that. Not one keep time. the information to yourself. You share that information. That's what it's all about, yeah. sharing information. Because somebody shared it with you. You got it. It's yeah. almost your duty to give it back. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Boom. All right. Truth for truth. I'm gonna go. Go ahead. Boom. Paul, I'm on you. Okay. How the ladies treating you, brother? How they treating me? You heard what I said. Man. <laughs> this I mean, truth for truth, we transparent on this podcast. Transparent. It's uh, okay. Right. We reopening some closed doors. <laughs> that's, that's what happened. Stupid motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he Yo. said? He said. He said this nigga love. Nigga thinking. When you ask the person the question and they repeat the question. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to think of some shit to say. What? He said like. <laughs> 
We got the question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. No, that's the that's good. That's the dog P talking, but he's right. He's right. I was thinking that. Like, oh, this nigga downloaded. Yeah. What's up, man? Okay. What's up to no, it? it's just all right. Lady in the past, you know. Just, okay. This is talking to a. All right. So transparency. Yes, we believe in here. Somebody in the past who may or may not have hurt me in the past, right? But I hit him up, so I was like, "Hey, what's good?" So I'm back. The picture. I'm back. He he's like, "Oh, a lady in the past may have hurt me." <laughs> She's Spanish, bro. Oh, she crazy. <laughs> so <laughs> she did a number on this one. <laughs> That's, That's what everybody's saying. But that nah, keep nah, going. She crazy. Nah, but it's just for sure. No, that's, that's what he said. He says he got a PhD. It's in a genetic makeup. Bro, bro, bro come on. This so is my man. Son. You know, you said something interesting. Remember when he said, what were we talking about? Shooter shooting? Remember that? Yeah. 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 If, you don't, if you don't try, you don't know. And guess what? I tried once and I did know. But now this time I'm trying again because I don't know. So I'm saying, you know what? Okay, cool. Hey, don't you know, though? Hey, motherfucker forgot how. That's a good question. Motherfucker forgot. He forgot how that pain feels, man. Sign me up. Sign me up. A little bit of pain is good. You know, pain is good. It's like you fall on your knee, you scrape your knee, you get a scar, you get back up, you start. He talking real, bro. Next week? What are you talking about? Next week, yo. I'm gonna be here. He's gonna be crying somewhere. All us. He's gonna be crying somewhere. I know. I'm gonna be here talking all the smack. Don't worry. Yeah, he talking all that shit. I'm gonna shout you out when I talk it. Don't worry. Don't worry. He's gonna hear it. Yeah. Go ahead, Rob. One question. Anybody in the room? True or true? Uh, Anything. Uh, Willie. Oh, all right. When you, uh, five years is too long. Three years from now. Okay. Where you see yourself? Oh, I like the shit. Question. Three years from now, I honestly see myself. Shit. That's easy. Kev Hart. I want that level. The the top the the top spot in comedy. I definitely see myself there. Not because I'm on some crazy shit like how he thinks that. Yes, I do think that of myself. Mainly because I know the work I gotta put in, and I'm doing it now. That's I keep right. shouting Viola Davis out. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the corner. That's it. Like she she got the number. Like you see what I'm saying? Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Like. Well, I don't know if y'all really know. I mean, y'all might know because y'all, this is shit. But, talk my man is connected, bro. My Yo, man, come on, you don't pull, I done pulled up and I done seen a bunch, a lot of motherfuckers that, I done seen them on TV and all that shit. You yeah. pull up next to him, right? I'm show that, nah, I just, I got a, I got an invite from Welly to pull up to comedy shows and period. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. shit, and celebrity motherfuckers are there, I mean. You know, people don't think that celebrities is real people, but yeah, yeah, yeah. these niggas is real combo. <laughs> yo, <and> this, <laughs> yo, a lot of cool people, a lot of cool people, it's a lot a real of fucking combo. You, you get combo, a you get an education, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, that just gives you confidence. Like that, give me the oh, like. If they doing it, I can. Yeah. 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 How I ain't rich? I like that. I'm good. How am I not rich and this nigga rich? You know what? Put, you, you know what? Put that in perspective for me. I was opening for Tiffany same weekend you was there, but it was the day before you came. Like, uh, let's say you came to the Saturday show, that Friday show. You know who's at the show? AJ from 106 and Park. I bumped into him. Too. Oh, so then it was the same night. Yeah, but but look, another. I get off stage. And I'm walking back to the dressing room, and he pulls me. He goes, yo, I can holler at you real quick? I'm like, yeah, right, whatever. You know, it's dark. I don't know who's who. You going to holler at me. All right, cool. He goes, yo, I just wanted to let you know, yo, you mad funny. I'm like, oh, you you my man from? And I'm like, yeah, I'm the shit. These motherfuckers are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we grew up on him. Yeah, It's like, yeah, oh, he's yeah, a yeah, fan yeah, of mine. Yeah, bro. I'm yeah. good money. If you see bro, what I'm saying? That's how it comes from trying to win. That's, That's what is. I really realized as I got older. Everybody, it wasn't, no matter what you think somebody got mm -hmm. or whatever that may be, have been successful, mm -hmm. they just trying to maintain that. Yeah, well, why they, they working so hard. And fame, listen, ain't no, ain't, unless, you, unless you can monetize what you do and mm -hmm. it's something that's valuable, Fame and fame, it's a lot of broke, famous motherfuckers. Yes. Mm. Famous does not mean rich. Bro. That's, that's a yes. interesting thing. I've been next to a couple more niggas. We was in the club and shit like yes. that. And like, People. check coming. Niggas is like, <laughs> they doing the same shit. Niggas <laughs> that I'm from, where I'm from, dude. That, that, that's like, crazy. Oh, what's going on, bro? Yeah. Yeah. 
Back from here. Every episode of your show. How you ain't got nobody? How you ain't got nobody? The bathroom get real crowded around check time. Wow. You know, a lot of pockets being tapped. You know what I mean? It's all of the tricks. It's all of the tricks. Yeah, but go back over the bill, start repeating who the hell got yeah. this. Like you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't no I ain't trying to shit on nobody, but I'm just saying a lot of people, they put a lot of they they regular people, they put a lot of emphasis and they think that they're failing at life because they see what they see. Mm-hmm. And that's not really how reality. somebody a lot of these people are living. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. that shit is nah. That's not that's not it. Wow. No, he, he's absolutely right, man. Yo, this is a great episode. Come back whenever you want. Anytime, for real. Also, Friday, what's going on? Let the people know one more time. Last time, last time. Are we doing a live uh, Forex informational webinar? Uh, live from Dominican Republic. Yes. 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh huh. I'm going. On. I might take some live trades and show you. I might. I, my goal. I probably. I, I'm gonna try to do two thousand dollars in six minutes. Oh shit! Is Dior coming? That's light. That's, okay. that's light. That's he doesn't know what Dior is. He that's thinks light. that's a pet. No. <laughs> <laughs> is he coming? Is he gonna be there? Yeah. See, he keeps he's, 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 he's talking to just a person or something. <laughs> yeah. Yo, real quick, runway. Also, let him know the Instagram real quick before we get out of here. Runway royalty. Pull up and uh, DM me. Don't be shy. Don't Hit be me. shy. I get Hit him information up. all the time about free information about what I think is gonna, you know, uh, what what crypto is gonna go up, what's gonna go down. Everybody's, you know, super into everybody's super into uh Bitcoin right now, but I'm gonna be honest with you, the the sleeper The Dosha coin? Ethereum. Oh, it's a whole nother coin? It's a whole it's a it's a few coins, but Ethereum is the second this this Wait, hold on sleeper. Up. So Dosha coin is not the second. No. Ethereum is the second. Uh, I ain't even heard of that. Bro. Ethereum is 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 a quiet and it's and it's low right now. I think I don't, I didn't check it, but last I was time I checked, to... it was at it was at yesterday. I think it was at two thousand. I think it's hovering somewhere around eighteen between eighteen and, and two thousand. So for two thousand dollars, two years ago, all right, February two two years ago, Bitcoin was thirty five hundred dollars. Wow! Are you said wow. wow! Holy wow. crap! Go on your phone and check. Wow. Two years ago. Bitcoin was thirty five hundred dollars. It's fifty nine thousand now. Right? Fifty nine. Two years ago, I was still broke. <laughs> but, but I'm saying, what I'm saying is, imagine, just to put it in perspective, you know, God forbid, imagine two years ago mm-hmm. or three years ago when it was cheaper than that. Somebody bought ten coins at three hundred dollars, right, and went to jail. Mmm. He's coming home. And he and he come, and he's coming man. home three years from now. He's coming home a million <laughs> yeah. and, he come, and he comes home three years from now. He got ten coins at fifty five dollars, three hundred dollars. Uh-huh. That oh. when he comes home or whatever happened, I don't want to you know wish jail on nobody, but when he comes home or whatever happens and they come home, they got ten coins at a hundred plus thousand. The first thing we're gonna do with that gentleman is keep him out of Miami. Cause he's gonna drown quick in Miami. Whoever that gentleman is, whoever that gentleman is, bro. If you hear this podcast, I'm gonna tell you what to do. You take that money and you reinvest at least thirty five percent of it. So yeah, flip it. Ten years from now, you can hit another lick. Wow, yo, I love this shit, man. That, I ain't <laughs> got crazy. shit else to say, man. Bro. That was yo. That's how we ending this. That's it, man. Thank you so much for that. This is what's up. Yo, Rob came bottom through bottom with the Dawn P. Quo's gonna Google the price because he needs to. Yo, your bottle got a switch on it that makes it light up. This is, I was watching this while you was talking this out. This is, this is, and you pressed the button. Josh, you see this shit? No, you about to pour half of it out. Oh, yeah, you got it. I'm gonna put it back. Like, All of the free game he just dropped. Yeah. The bottle lights up in the dark, niggas. Yo, right, man. Right. This yeah. Wellies World podcast, man. My man Runway in here. Yo, Boss dog, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming thank through, you so man. Much. For Appreciate real. you anytime you want to come through. Webinar this Friday, man. Live from Follow DR. him on Instagram. Free webinar. Live from DR. At Runway Toes is in the sand. He, he, how much you said you're going to try to do on the trade? Three minute trade, 6,000? Nah. He said 2,000. Oh, two. Yeah. Huh? Two. Two minutes? Two, right. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take two minute trades. Uh huh. Two or three minute trades. I'm gonna probably take like three, like two or three of them, and I'll, I'll probably make like between two, two thousand, and 
Just chill on vacation. Yeah, on vacation. Those are the two G's that I need in my life right now. That's the two G's that I spent to go. Well, I'm tuned in, man. You ain't got to say no more. That's how you get out the crib. This Welly's World Podcast. We out of here. Peace out, y'all. We out.